In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the most neglected chapters in Introduction to Economics. We will be talking about the oligopoly market structure. In fact, it is one of the easier chapters that we've seen in this unit. So let's go through some of the concepts um, of this market structure. And the first thing that we always do is to talk about what are the determinants of this particular market structure. The first determinant is the number of agents in this market. So there are going to be a few sellers serving many, many buyers in the market. So when we talk about few buyers, let's be a little bit more specific about it. For the purpose of introduction economics, we're only going to be talking about two sellers in this market, and we call that a duopoly. The second determinant would be imperfect information as well as mobility. So what this means for the buyers is that they do not know what are the different prices that firms can charge at and they don't know what are the firm's cost structures as well. The firms know their own cost structures. Um, they might know the other firm's cost structure but they are not very sure on what is um, the exact strategy and the exact thing that other firms would do. Um, the market also has a homogeneous or a differentiated good. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but what matters is that it has got high barriers to entry to keep it at only two firms. Okay, So high barriers to entry could be a result of um, these two firms having very big economies of scales, either they've got patents or they're very advanced in a technology that nobody can copy that stuff and that's why they can't enter the market. So with these four determinants, uh, we can see that the oligopoly market or the duopoly actually has got very high market power and it can control the price um, to a certain extent. But what is so special about the oligopoly market that we have to take note of? Now, the key differentiating factor uh, that differentiates oligopoly from perfect competition and monopolistic comp, which you will see in the later videos, is actually this thing called strategic planning. Okay, now why, does, why is there strategic planning in a market where there's only two firms? Well, that's because each of these two firms are actually large, right? And they are large enough to affect certain uh, market conditions. And when I mean market, what, when I say market conditions, what I mean is things like the equilibrium price as well as the equilibrium quantity. So these are the conditions that can be affected by each firm's behavior. Therefore, the competing firms in this market will have to be very, very aware of the other firm's behavior. Okay, so they have to be very aware of the other firm's behavior and they must also respond appropriately according to how the other firm is behaving. Now, perfectly competitive firms, they react, right? They don't respond, they react. So PC firms react to things like market price. So when there's a change in the market price, PC firms will actually change the quantity produced. Now, um, a, a good way to remember this is that um, there needs to be a lot of responsibility in the duopoly market. And um, responsibility can also be defined as the ability to respond. Respond to who? Respond to what the other firm is doing. Okay, so you guys are competing, you have to understand what the other guy is doing. So over here at Quick Economics, we love sports very much. So I'm going to use two different sports to illustrate the difference between a perfect competitive market as well as a dual poly. So imagine that a perfect comp is actually a 100 meter race, whereas a dual poly is actually a boxing match. So to win the 100 meter race, you just have to be the fastest man or woman okay, on the running track, right? Finish the 100 meters in the shortest amount of time, you win. To win in a boxing match, you basically have to knock out your opponent, right? If you don't knock your opponent out, you're going to be knocked out. So what do you think is the strategy for these two types of sports? Now, if I was a 100 meter sprinter, I would basically train as hard as I can, right? I'll keep running and running until I become the fastest that I can be. So I'll just give it my 100% um, every day at training and that's going to be as fast as I can, okay? So regardless of what my other competitors are doing, I am going to train as hard as I can. Okay, so, so this is the strategy for a 100 meter race, right? For a boxing match, does it mean that if you can throw the hardest punch, you're going to win? Well, what if you miss the punch, right? Or, you know, what if you, you, you throw your hardest punch, but your opponent is still standing? For those of us who have a little bit of experience with martial arts, I think you would know that if you were to throw your hardest punch, or maybe even the hardest kick, and if you're going to miss, you're actually going to be very vulnerable because um, you might have exposed certain weak parts of yourself, right? So if let's say I threw a hook, which is really, really my hardest hook, and I miss, I might be exposing parts of my midsection, which my opponent can very, very easily just counter, give me a counter attack. 
So that's why throwing the hardest punch, you know, might not make me win this boxing match. So putting that into consideration, I can also focus on being the fastest guy in the ring. So the question is, which one do I focus my training on? Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs, simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.